everybody, Sounded Boot here, and today I'm coming to you guys with another custom NPCs. And today we're going to be going over the job system. The job system is like the roles, the jobs, and I'm going to probably be going over the global a bit. So in the last video we went over the, all of this stuff, making your own NPC. So right now I'm just going to go with the uh, default NPC, but I am going to change the skin. Custom NPCs comes loaded with a bunch of like skins, so... Say I want to make um, a trader, so I can make a trader Steve, looks like that, or village Steve, village old Steve. I'm going to go with village old Steve. So now after I have the skin I want, and I place him down, this is going to be a weapon shop. And please don't say anything about my terrible building, I know how bad I am at building. So then you go to advanced, if you want to make him a trader, you click it once, and you press edit. So I'm going to make his market name, what was his name again? Kono. So I'm going to make his market name Kono's Black Smithy. Kono's Black Smithy, ignore damage, and I'm not going to ignore, I think that's beta tag, something beta tag. I don't know. And then I'm going to make it so that if you want to buy a machine gun, and um, emerald bullet. Uh, you ha it costs you. Mm, what should I make it cost? And just say no. You can make it cost anything. So I can make it cost say piece of bedrock. Uh, advanced trader, and then I could say piece of bedrock. And you can get an emerald bullet. Piece of bedrock for an emerald bullet. But I'm not going to be that unfair. I'm going to say a diamond sword for an ammo bullet and a diamond sword for a machine gun. So I'm going to get those. So I exit out of them. Machine gun. Ammo bullet. And I think since I'm a creative, I can just... No, I can't middle click it. So now that I have my weapon, I'm going to go around and I'm going to go pew! Die. Pew, 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 pew. There we go. So now that I have him as a trader, I'm gonna go make him as a follower. So say uh, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna copy that. So 64. Wait, no. One ammo bullet. Two ammo bullets and three ammo bullets. Three ammo bullets for th four days that you that um I have you. Two days that I have you and one day that I have you. So, you can change what he says, you can change what he doesn't say, you can make it so it allows him to soul stone. GUI disabled, uh, infinite days so that he has you. That's once you pay it once, you can have him for infinite days. So now that I have him like that, I am going to hire him for th four days. Thank you for hiring me for four days, and I'm pretty sure... Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, what did I do? I think you can, um... Following days left, three health, uh, I think... You can't give him a gun? Oh well. So I can just give him a gun from the inventory thing. So after I make him a follower, I can also make him a bank, which is like default bank, which is you get one bank slot. But with bank, you can if you're doing it on a server, it's perfect thing to use because you can go into the banks, you can change the banks, you can have it so that you start at one the maximum of six. It takes uh say a machine gun to get it up, to get it up, to get it up, to get it up. To get it up to get it up and it takes a machine gun to upgrade them and you can only you can limit it to like three if you wanted so then after i do that cost upgrade a machine gun so i am going to go grab a machine gun since i forgot to grab one <coughs> <coughs> and then i'm going to right click them put the machine gun in and i'm going to upgrade it so then i have uh tab one Tab 2 to um, unlock it, which this is just my inventory, it's not the thing. I have to put in a machine gun. So I'll grab one more. Oops. So I'll just grab two of that. Oh, whoops, whoops, no, 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 stop shooting. Tab 2, so I'm gonna unlock it. And then I can upgrade it, which I won't do. So then, that's basically the bank. And then transporter, which is just like a teleporter. I'm not going to go over this one, this one's 
kind of, I'd say it's fairly obvious to get, but I don't really want to go over it, spend the time on it. It's the mailman, which is really easy to use. You just like say, hey, username, sounded, food, subject, test. And then I could make it so that, hey, you want a machine gun? Okay, I'll send you one, send. And then I go into the blocks. You can make this, you can't make this mailbox, but you can make it if you set something. And then I get test, and I'm like, hey, look what I got, weed. And then I can take the machine gun out. Or I could just leave it, I can't leave it in there after I took it out, but oh well. So then I can also, like, keep my mail. I can send it to my friends if I want. You could send it to, like, if you want a silver, the silver owner. A uh, companion, which is a work in progress. I don't really know how this works. I think this is fairly new. Stage fully grown, so it's like a baby, it's a child, but it's a teenager, if it's an adult. To update it. Age, no. Uh disabled so he can have he can carry five thousand XP. What the I don't know how this works. But I'm gonna try something. Oops. No, I don't know. I have no idea how this works. I'll try to figure it out later, but that makes no sense to me. And then that's all for the rules. Jobs is like a bird, which is like a... You can change him. You can... Whoops. I could make him do a song. Let's find a song. Um, note. Music game creative. Hmm. Records, I can make him play, uh, I'll make him play Chope. And I'll make him hold a hope. And that gets really annoying really fast. Oh god, did I just make it last forever? Oh no. Bode. Oh god. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. So I can make him a healer so that he is, is he like a healing thing. I'll go into that survival. Heal me. Heal me. There we go. See? And then it heals me. He has like a cool potion effect too. Doesn't give you a potion effect, but it plays like the particles. Good, which you've already seen. It just like attacks animals, mobs, specific target, all that stuff. Um, I can make him an item giver so that say, hmm, you go talk to him, he will give you 56 ammo bullets, have these item player. So then, I click him. What? Wait on time, timer, give daily, uh, daily, I'll say. Ugh. I'll set his timer for like two seconds or something. Oops. Oops. So 32 every. Oh, there, so see, he gave them to me. So then I'll go back into advanced follower, which is name. I'll make him. I don't really know. I've never actually looked at some of these. Kono, which I think his name was Kono. So close. Hello, sounded bird. Hello, sounded bird. Oops. Oh no. Okay, so I never really use a spawner, which is like, I can make him spawn a certain NPC. I don't have any NPCs saved, so I can't make him do that. So, as you guys saw in the last video, I had that big, like, war scene. You can make it so that there's a bunker, and have this guy that's spawning in the war people to go. So he's like a healer, basically. He's like a medic. So, you can have it so that he spawns in, say, he spawns in one soldier, the soldier runs out, he spawns in another soldier, and you can have two on each side, and see how long each side lasts. And the goal is to, like, kill the other person. So, I don't have any NPCs that he can spawn. He can die after spawns die. He can he spawn spawns on target loss. So, like, if you're playing a game and there's somebody that's spawning skeletons or something, you kill that person, all the skeletons die. You may be knowing what game I'm talking about, but... Respawn type, one by one, all random. Yeah. 
uh, conversation, which is just, like, basically him talking, the availability of that sentence to, to the delay, the range, and yeah, chunk loader, which is just he loads the chunk, puppet, this one's really cool, as you saw with my Alney person, uh, try to get close enough so I can TP to one of them, there we go, TP2, so if I come over here, Alney, he, I put him as a puppet, and then that's why his, uh, he has one arm on the thing and one arm not, and I also changed the chest, so, See, look, here he has his chest up, uh, his chest, like, flat, body, so, X. Ooh, he's kicking at somebody, boom, 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 yeah. So I'm not really gonna go over that in too much detail, either. Puppet is fairly easy, you just have to know, like, you just have to watch it and change rotations. Kind of... Yeah, so that's all the jobs. And then lines is like, so say you kill it, you attack it, he'll be like, <laughs> like a dying sound or something. Or his factions, which is what I did with the soldiers. His dialogue. <coughs> really sorry about that, guys. So it's like a quest thing. So say, uh, ask about village. This village has been around for ages. Enjoy your stay here. Or something else that I could do. Uh, oops, not lines. Dialogues. Uh, villager. Start. This village is about half wages. Enjoy your stay here. This... I'm pretty sure it's just random then. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. I broke my building. Oh well. Dialogues. I will take about ask out a village. Hello, Sadabood. Welcome to our village. I hope you enjoy your stay. Who are you? Tell me something about this village. Goodbye. I'm a villager here. I've lived in this village my whole life. So I can also make it so he has a sound. So, a living sound, which I will set to... Gun pistol shot. Uh, has pitch. Oh, God. It's kind of scary. Uh... I went over that night, so you can make it ha how you can't edit him at night. You can't edit him at night. His job changes at night, so like he doesn't have his job. He doesn't have his job advanced, all that stuff. Uh, linked, which is like linking them to another NPC. I'm pretty sure at least, or command blocks maybe. Meld. I don't know. I'm terrible with names. Link to meld. Not sure. I don't know how that works, but yeah. So then I can also make him have his a natural spawn, so that he spawns in the world. Banks. I don't know if that factions. I wanna I went over that. Dialogues, which is basically adding new dialogues. Quests? I will probably have a separate video for quests. Just because they take so much uh to know about. This is where you change like the transport uh job thing. Player data. So I could completely reset my data. So I could bust delete. Which is like, yeah. So that's really helpful on this. So but recipes. This is what I want to talk about. So in here, NPC wand. Don't want it to have a recipe. Just say, whoops. Uh, say you don't want it to have a recipe. You take out the recipe. Boom. Doesn't have a recipe. Mob cloner. Uh, take out the red. No NPC wand. You don't get a thing. Mana, you could, that, I don't really think that does changes too much. Bullets, I'm not, well, bullets, uh, uh, company benches. Yeah, so that's basically just company bench. Bullet wooden, so you just, like, put one thing in the crafting table and it gives you any bullet they want. But bronze, I don't really know how you get bronze. It's probably something in here. Battle axe, you could change, like, if you can craft those weapons in a carpentry bench. You could add something. Whoa, you could add something. So I can make it so I want to craft a machine gun. Takes emerald bullets. Machine gun. There you go. So then I will get a couple of bench on the blocks. Whoops. 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 There we go. Capture bench. So I will take my 
ammo bullets, and I'll spread them all out in here. And I can craft myself a machine gun. So you can basically just like make your own crafting recipe for something. And not only uh, so say you go to recipes. Not only can you do it for that, but you can also add in here, so it just takes a regular crafting table. Uh, Nat, I already went over pretty much everything, so that should be it's my second episode for my custom NPCs um, mod review, I guess. I'll be coming back with one more, just specifically for quests. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.